Howdy, I'm working on the module quiz for module three, ready to go on. I'm going to do each problem, show you how I would do them. Uh, write each mixed number as a decimal. Well, let's see, I have uh, four and one-fifth, four and one-fifth. The four, there's my whole number, and then it's waiting for a decimal after that. And for this, cowboys and horses. Cowboy rides on top of the horse. Cowboy sleeps inside. Notice I put a 1.0 because I already know the horse sleeping outside. Five is not going to go into one. And when I divide, I put a zero right there. Five is not going to go into one. Put your decimal point. Five going into ten will go two times. That is ten. And there you go. So this is my other part of the decimal, 4.2. Number two, 12 and 14 fifteenths. Okay. I'll do number two over here. 12 and 14 fifteenths. Uh, 12. 12 point. Okay. 15 going into 14. Well, 15 isn't going to go into 1. And it's not going to go into 14. So, but it will go into decimal point. 140. And it will go in probably nine times. So it goes in nine times. 15 times nine, what, nine? Uh, nine times five is 45, 45, and that's 135. The result is five. I'll add another zero here. 15, go into, 15 goes into 50, I know that's three times. Three times 15 is 45. And I subtract, and there's zero, bring down uh, five, I should say, and then bring down a zero. And hey, I've seen this before. It looks like it's going to be a loop. It's just going to be three. So, and the three repeats. This goes over here as 0.93, but only the three is repeating. So I put the bar over the three. Number three. That is five and five over 32. And number three, that is uh, five and five. 5 over 32. So this is the 5 decimal point. Okay. And then 32 going into 5. Well, 32 is not going to go into 5. Uh, but it will go into 50. And 32 goes into 50 one time. Uh, that's 32. And so this is, uh, what, 8? 18 and drop the zero down. I think this goes in five times. That's zero, one, and that's 160. So that is uh, 20. And this looks like it goes in six times. That is 12, uh, 18, 19. So this result is uh, 80. Oops, <laughs> you can't see that. Uh, 80. Oh, 8, I should say 8, and then 80, and 32 goes into 80 two times. That's uh, 64, and then uh, what that's going to be, uh, 6, and uh, bring down another 0. Oh, and that's going to be a 1, 160, and I've seen this before. Right here, I had 160, so this is going to be 5 times, and there it is, 5 point. One five six two five. Number four. Uh, what we have for number four here is four point five plus seven point one. Four point five plus seven point one. Add them up. Six. What? That's eleven point six. It's easy. Number five. We have this one. Uh, five and one six plus negative 3 and 5, so I have to subtract these two, and it's going to be positive. So 5 and 1 sixth, 5 and 1 sixth, uh, minus 3 and 5 sixth, minus 3 and 5 sixth. Well, can't do 1 minus 5, you're going to have to borrow, and our denominators are the same, so we're good with that. Borrow, take 1 off of this and add 6 plus 1 which is 7. Now I have 7 minus 5, which is 2, 6. 4 minus 3 is 1. I could simplify 2, 6 to 1 and 1 third, because I take, uh, divide, what, this by 2 and that one by 2. 
Number six, I'm going to find the difference between these two. Uh, looks to me like I'm going to add them both, and my answer is negative. So I'll do that. Number six, negative one eighth minus uh, six and seven eighths. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to add them uh, six and seven eighths plus one eighth. So I'm just turning it into addition because I need to know what that sum is. And we have eight. Uh, oh my god, why am I even doing that? Seven plus one is eight eighths. Six and eight eighths, well, eight eighths is one, so six plus one is seven. And I have to remember that I was adding negative, so my answer is negative seven. Okay, and number seven. Number seven, I'm going to add these two together, minus negative, so 14.2 plus 4.9. 14.2 plus 4.9 and uh, that's going to be 11, 8, 9, 19.1. That is my answer for that. And by the way, if you're wondering why did I add them, it comes back to uh, 0. I, I'm, I start at 14.2. I have a little guy standing here, and uh, he faces the negative direction, and he moves backwards. So if you face the negative direction, and you move backwards. You and since you're moving away from zero, you have to add the numbers together. Okay. Next, number eight. Eight. I have to multiply these two together. So for number eight. I can fit that here. 8 is negative 4 times 7 tenths. Um, well, that's a negative 4 times 7 over 10. That's 4 over 1. You multiply the tops and you get negative 28 over 10. 10 goes into 28 two times with 8 left over. Remember, it's still negative. And simplify 8 tenths to take half of both of those is 4 fifths equals negative 2 and 4 fifths. Number 9. Okay, I'm multiplying three numbers together. Two of them are negative, so negative times negative is a positive. Okay, so 9. Uh, it's going to be 3.2 times 5.6 first. So that's 12. Uh, that's 18, 19. 0, 10, 15, 16, 2, 9, 7, 1. But I have to multiply all that by 4 now. Oops, <laughs> you couldn't see that. I had to multiply that by 4. So that's 8, uh, what's uh, 36, 28, 1, 3, 7, 71 point 68 because I have, uh, what I didn't do is I didn't do this. 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, so if that's twice, then this is 1, 2 right there. So the answer is 71.68. Number 10. Ah, number 10. Uh, negative, uh, so 10 is 19 over 2 with a negative divided by, divided by 38 over 7. Okay, uh, 19 over 2, negative, times 7 over 38. I know that 19 times 2 is 38, so I can cross cancel. 1 times 7 is 7, 2 times 2 is 4, negative times positive is negative. And then I could also turn this in, well, 4 goes into 7 one time with 3 left over, and it's negative, 1 and 3 fourths. So either answer would work. Although, God, I might even be partial to this one. Number 11. Uh, 11. Let's see what it says here. 11. Negative 32.01 divided by 3.3. Negative 32.01. Negative 32.01 divided by negative 3.3. So, I know negative divided by, divided by negative is positive. And 3.3 into 32.01. So let's see. Let's move this decimal over one time. Boom, boom, and up to the top. 
33 does not go into 3, and it doesn't go into 32, but it's going to go into this probably 9 times. 9 times 3 is 27, uh, what, 29? 297, so that would be 23, uh, and then 32.01, and let's see, that probably is 7 times, so 7 times 3 is 2, two yep, 23, 9.7, so it's positive 9.7, okay, and number 12, number 12, let's see, Luis bought stock at $83.60, $83.60, and the next day, price increased $15.35, $15.35, so that is five, uh, nine, eight, nine. Now, and now it's $98.95. The new price changed by, uh, it, it went down four and three quarters percent. Okay. Four and three fourths percent. If it went down, let's just look at this. Three fourths is three quarter, which is 75 cents. So that's the same thing as 4.75 percent. But in order to do our calculations, we need to do the write this as a decimal without the percent. So that means we have to move the decimal two times to the left. So that means it's going to be 0 0.0475, and we're going to use that. And we have to drop, we have to drop this by that percent. So we have to take 4.75% of that, which means we have to multiply this times this, times 0 0.0475. Now I did this, and I figured this would take me a while. So I, if you do it, you should pause and, and make sure that you get the same that I do. Uh, you get uh, 4.70 with a bunch of other zeros and then a couple other numbers here, but those other numbers aren't going to matter this is what matters here. So this is how much we have to drop it by. Remember, this is four and three quarters percent of $98.95. So when, when I take $98.95 minus $4.70, that ends up being five, two, four, nine, $94.25. That's how much the stock is worth now. And how can you use negative numbers to represent real world situations? So how can you do that? Um, well, you could, uh, I'll pause it and I'll write it down for you. So this is what you can, you can use negative numbers to represent temperatures below zero. Okay, there's one way, or a decrease in prices of something. And that's what you got to know. Uh, thanks for watching my module quiz, quick quiz review.